Hello, RCS Talk from Budapest. This is Ruchi Ranga from MICE TV. Welcome to the 21st European Vitreretinal Society meeting, a premier gathering of top experts in vitreretinal care. This year's event highlights groundbreaking advancements, global life surgeries, and insightful discussions on the latest techniques and technologies. The meeting was officially opened by EVRS President Dr. G.M. Paolo Gini, live from the University of Trieste, who emphasized the society's global reach and 20 years of collaboration with industry, driving major innovations in vitro-retinal technologies. This spirit of progress came alive during the live surgery session where six surgeons from four continents showcased cutting-edge posterior segment procedures. Dr. Gini himself performed a retinal detachment with rectomy demonstrating precise microbreak detection with the Boschelom strillaris. From Germany, Dr. Armin Wolf tackled a complex traction retinal detachment using the Earthly OS4 with the spip pump, expertly removing membranes without inducing any damage. Dr. Danielle Toganetto in Italy took on a challenging PVR case, carefully peeling membranes without breaks. In Egypt, Dr. Mohammed Twafiq showed remarkable speed with the Alcon Ingenuity predicting a rapid recovery of his tractional diabetic retinal attachment patient. India's Dr. Uday Tekchandani impressed with membrane peeling on a tractional detachment case using the Zayas Artevo 3D microscope, achieving a clean removal without breaks. Joining from Boston, Dr. George Areo completed a flawless in-office epiretinal membrane peel under local anesthesia. Finally, Dr. Barbara Perolini shared two innovative techniques beginning with an RPE and choroidal transplant using the Bosch and Lom Stellaris and the newest 3D Siluma microscope, also by Bosch and Lom. This world-unique procedure involved lifting the healthy retina, transplanting choroidal tissue from the periphery, and reattaching the retina to preserve photoreceptors. Though complex and often considered impractical, Dr. Parolini's precise technique demonstrated the potential for success with practice and standardization. In a second post-traumatic PVR case on a young patient with severe eye trauma, she managed bleeding using undiluted transemic acid, a cardiovascular agent rarely used in ophthalmology. This novel approach, shown for the first time, presented no toxicity and achieved remarkable control of intraoperative bleeding. Stay tuned for exclusive activities from Media Mice and EVRS over the next three days, including roundtable discussion with top surgeons, a high-stakes retinal quiz, and debates on the hottest topics in the field. Follow EVRS and MediaMice channels to be part of the excitement.